Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Khan Academy tutorial from Mr. West. Let's go ahead and start for all our geometry students. We're doing side and angle properties of a parallelogram level one. The funny thing is, I don't think there's a level two in Khan Academy, but maybe they're working on it. Let's go ahead and start. Diagonals of all blank, looks like rectangle line, bisect each other at 90 degrees. All it's asking here is what shapes have diagonals that bisect each other at 90 degrees, okay? Uh, one thing you'll need to know is, first off, we're referring to parallelograms here. That means a shape like this, okay? But this is just one example. There's a lot of properties of parallelograms. Opposite angles are equal, okay? Uh, diagonals bisect each other. Opposite sides are equal. Op opposite sides are parallel. So make sure you guys review some of the other videos that I have on parallelograms. But we're going to be, I'm going to try to reduce this to the, the simplest form possible. So one thing you want to know is, first off, we have our like families here. We have parallelograms. All these are types of parallelograms except for the trapezoid. Trapezoid is not a parallelogram. Parallelogram. Okay. So this branches off into special parallelograms. And the, the two main special parallelograms are rectangles and then rhombuses. I don't know why that's capitalized, but... Now, rectangles have all congruent angles, and rhombuses have all congruent sides. So it's a parallelogram with all congruent sides. So this is sides congruent, and this is angles congruent. Okay, and both of these and uh, relate to, they're both like the parents of this shape, which has all angles congruent and all sides congruent, and that's the square. Okay, now, uh, diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. That is a property of a rhombus. So this bisect each other at 90 degrees. Oh man, I meant to use yellow. That is a property of a rhombus. And because it's a property of a rhombus, it's also a property of a square. So it belongs to both of those. So the answer here is square and rhombus because square is like the child of the rhombus. He has everything the rhombus has. So we're going to say square and rhombus. Check it out. All right, next question. Find the value of angle DCB. Okay, let's find DCB first. DCB is here. Remember, the vertex is always the middle letter. So DCB. Now, this is a parallelogram, and the reason why I know is because opposite sides are parallel. Parallelogram. Okay, it's in the name. So these have to be equal. So C, angle C or angle DCB, has got to be the same as the angle BAD, bad, like Michael Jackson, bad. Angle A, that's another way of saying it. So they have to be equal, 76. All right, next one. Find the value of X. All right, now, the other property of parallelograms, okay, and the reason why I know it's a parallelogram, you guessed it, opposite sides are parallel. The other property of parallelograms are consecutive angles. That means one after the other, okay, next to each other, sh uh, sharing a side. So they both share this side here. Um, the reason why, oh, sorry, they are supplementary. So these two angles are going to be supplementary. That means they add to 180. Their sum equals 180 degrees. And the reason why that is, is because this is an example of parallel lines, okay, parallel lines, cut by a transversal. And we know that they are same side interior angles, so they add up to 180. They're supplementary, okay? So 104, angle 104 plus x has to be equal to 180. So we simply subtract by 104 to both sides, and we're going to get, what, 76? x equals 76. Did we get 76 for the last answer? Leave a comment below if we did, because I can't remember. <laughs> Kid, what can we say about the given figure? Looks good. But that's not an option. So we have to see here that we have, okay, we have a parallelogram. Why? Because opposite sides are parallel. We have all angles congruent. Now, do we know the sides are congruent? Even though they look like they're congruent. This looks like a square, but we can't say it's a square because we don't know for sure. It doesn't give us that information. But we do know that. Let's see. A, B equals C, D. A, B equals C. We don't know that. It, it's Okay, I'm a little frustrated because we don't know technically if this is a square or rectangle, but it, the only options here um, 
are related to the lengths of the sides. So I'm a little frustrated by that, but you shouldn't assume that. Really, a, a good, a good um, math problem would not have this without given sides. Like these sides should be listed as congruent. If it's, or it should say that it's a square. Either that or no, I just hit, I can't check it. No, I have to select answers. Otherwise it'd be like none of these because we don't know for sure. But okay, so we're just gonna go through, I guess, and say A, B is equal to C, D. So A, B is the side on the right, C, D is the side. So I guess that's, that's correct. Opposite side, oh, oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. So this is a parallelogram. So opposite sides are congruent. So we know that these two are congruent. Man, I was trash talking Khan Academy and I just just came back and bit me. So CD equals AD. CD equals AD. We don't know that for sure, okay? Because this is a parallelogram, we don't know uh, if this is a square or not. We do know that opposite sides are parallel. So we can say that DA or AD is equal to CB. But we don't know about CD and AD. AD is equal to BC. BC is on the top. AD is on the bottom. So we know this one, it's an opposite side. And then AB and AD. We don't know that. Even though it looks like a square and they look, it looks like it's equal, we don't know that. So we can only select those two because a parallelogram has opposite sides congruent. I, ta I take back what I said about the square and all that. So I'm sorry, Khan Academy. All right. <laughs> now that we understand what we're going for with the parallelograms, hopefully you guys hear that sound and you had a great time. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time on West Explains Best.